Why do most high-end ergonomic office chairs have firm seat designs? This is one of the most popular questions that we get at BTOD, and we're gonna answer that for you right here, right now. Shopping for office chairs? BTOD TV is your number one resource for everything office chairs. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Hey guys, it's Ryan with BTOD.com. One thing that we get asked about quite frequently from our customers is seating options for high-end ergonomic users that have thick padded plush seat pads. Now, there are not a ton of options available in the high-end market with thick padded seats, and that is because most high-end manufacturers have opted to go with firm seat designs. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why that is. Before we get into these seat designs specifically, I do wanna to touch briefly on our expectations when sitting in an office chair. It is very important to understand that even when we're spending over $1,000 on a high-end ergonomic chair that's rated for eight to 12 hours of use, that does not mean that that chair is going to be good for you to sit in for eight to 12 hours straight. No chair is designed to be comfortable for that amount of time. You are going to need to take breaks, get up, move around, allow your muscles to stretch, get that blood flow moving so that you can be healthier and more comfortable throughout the day. I think one way that we can really highlight this point is thinking about your car seat and how long you can sit in that seat before you're uncomfortable and need a break. Now, a car seat is gonna be more comfortable than most office chairs that you're going to be able to find. And I would say that most of you need a break after two to three hours of riding in your car. For me personally, after about three hours sitting in my car seat, I need to get out, stretch, take a little break. So think about that when choosing your office chair and make sure that you set your expectations correctly for what the office chair can actually provide. Make sure that you're taking adequate breaks so that the chair is comfortable for you for those long stretches. We've brought in a lot of high-end office chairs from some of the biggest brands in the world, including Herman Miller, Steelcase, Human Scale, Hayworth, and Knoll. And no matter the manufacturer, no matter how differing the designs are, they all share one thing in common, and that is that they design their chairs with firm seats. So we're gonna start by looking at Herman Miller, and whether or not it's the Mira 2, the Lino, the Cosm, the Embody, the Aeron, or the Sail, fabric or mesh design, they all have firm seats. Same with steel case, whether it's the Leap, the Gesture, the EMEA, the Think, the Series 2, or the Series 1, they all have firm seat designs. The same is gonna hold true for human scale. When we look at the Freedom, the Liberty, the Different World, and the Different Smart, the same thing is true for all four of these chairs. They have thin seat pads with firm seat designs. And finally, when we look at the Knoll Regeneration and the Hayworth Fern, both of these models also have firm seats. So that's 18 chairs from five of the most reputable high-end ergonomic chair manufacturers that have all opted to go with firm seat designs. Now let's talk a little bit about why they've chosen to do this. So the reason that all of these high-end manufacturers have chosen to go with a more firm seat design boils down to the ergonomics of an office chair and a ton of studies that have been conducted by a lot of these high-end manufacturers. So I'm just gonna provide some quotes from both Cornell and their ergonomics department because they are kind of the leaders in this field in terms of providing studies and providing information that other manufacturers can go off of, along with some quotes from Steelcase, Herman Miller, and Human Scale. And because I'm quoting these companies directly, I'm going to read to make sure that I don't get any of this wrong. So coming from Cornell, their view on the thickness of a seat is, seat cushioning recommended thickness is one and a half to two inches. Cushion should be firmer in back and thicker while less firm and thinner at front. Too much cushioning can cause the body to sink into a chair constraining movement. A soft chair may be comfortable at first, but as the body sinks, blood flow circulation lowers, skin temperature rises in affected areas, and compression under thighs increases. These factors combine to increase discomfort. Also quoting from Alan Hedge, who is a professor and the director of human factors and ergonomics at Cornell, he says, Many people do the two minute butt test and will think a soft padded seat is good, but over time realize it does not stay comfortable. 
the best kind of seat pan is fairly firm, allowing you to move around and change positions on the seat, changing pressure on the body, promoting muscle activity and blood flow. So you can see Cornell very much believes in a thin seat pad design and these are their reasons for believing that. So the next company that I'm gonna quote here is going to be Steelcase. And so when answering the question, does a thicker seat cushion mean a chair is more comfortable? Steelcase's response to this question is, not necessarily. Some chairs have thicker foam that may feel softer initially, but will lead to user discomfort after an hour or two of sustained sitting since thicker foam typically provides little ergonomic support. This is not good for the life of the chair or the long-term comfort of the user. In essence, foam that feels great initially does not always translate into long-term seated comfort. So you can see Steelcase shares very similar thoughts to those at Cornell and Allen Hedge, which is why they have thin or firm seat pad designs. Our next quote is going to come from Herman Miller, and you're going to start to notice a common theme with all of these manufacturers. Here's their response to seat design. Extra padding does not necessarily solve the problem because a too soft seat can put pressure on the gluteus maximus muscles at the sides of the buttocks as well as the heads of the femur bones and the sciatic nerves, resulting in the kind of discomfort experienced when sitting in a sling type playground swing or director's chair. So basically what they're saying is a thickly padded seat that allows you to sink into it will end up having a kind of a side feeling like you would have in a swing, which will be uncomfortable for long hours instead of having a more even seat cushion design that displaces the weight correctly. And the last high-end chair manufacturer that we're gonna quote here today is going to be Human Scale, and specifically from their founder and CEO, Robert King. He was quoted in a video saying, a soft seat cushion is really comfortable for a short period of time, but uncomfortable for long periods of time. So. As you can see from the three manufacturers that we've quoted here, plus the ergonomics department at Cornell, the theory behind these seat designs is that they're simply more ergonomic and more comfortable over the long run. And whether it's a mesh seat, a padded seat, a fabric seat, whatever it is and whatever design the chair has, most of these companies will have a firm seat to go with it. So just to kind of summarize the video here a little bit, firm seats are going to be better for the long haul. If you are actually going to be using your chair for that six to eight hours a day mark, then you probably want to look more into a seat that is going to be on the firm side. If you're only going to be using your chair maybe two hours, maybe four hours or less a day, you can probably get away with a softer seat. But at the end of the day, there is a reason that these high-end chair manufacturers have opted to go with this seat design. And from personal experience, I can tell you that a firm seat is a better ergonomic choice for me personally. I have used the CXO extensively, which has a very thick cushion padded seat, and I've been using the Leap Chair for the past two months. And I will say that after the initial two to three weeks that it took my body to acclimate to the Leap Chair, it has been much more comfortable over the long haul as compared to my CXO chair. So I will say that I am also a firm believer of this mentality with firmer seats being better for long hours of sitting. If you're looking for any more information on the things that we've gone over in today's video, I would highly encourage you to check out our blog post. We'll make sure to link it in the description. It'll have everything that we've covered here today, plus some additional resources in case you wanna dig a little bit deeper. As always, I would highly encourage you to check out our social media. We've got a ton of cool giveaways planned along with some nice behind the scenes footage that we don't have on our normal YouTube channel here. Make sure to like this video, subscribe and ding that bell so that you know when we release our next piece of Office Chair content. Thanks a lot for watching.